also warned us that, if we mess around with him, he could blow up the entire town. How am I supposed to tell this to Bubblegum and Fred after they return to Castle Bush? Look, calm down. Bubblegum and Fred are fine, and we are not even sure why Angelo threatened to blow up the entire town in the first place. Go on, read it. Angelo, please stop threatening to blow up Castle Bush because you are making a fool out of yourself. If you don't stop, I'll blow your house all right. What the heck were you thinking? Why do you want to blow up Angelo's house? Well, sorry. It had to be done. You blackmailed people, you murdered people, and you even stalked women. So I hope I can get to see you going back to- Jake. Jake please say something. Don't leave me. Oh no you don't. Back him off right now. Look Angelo you don't understand. Jake's been shot and if we don't rush him to the hospital, we'll lose him. Whatever. He's gonna die anyway and I'll blow your head off if you mess with me. And you. Back him off. I said back him off. Oh my god, what happened here? Jake has been shot. Please call the ambulance right now. Hello, I need an ambulance please. Jake has been shot by a random stranger and there's blood everywhere. The address where he has been shot is at the waterfall. Okay, thank you. Please come quick. Bye. Oh god. Please help me. I'm dying. Jake, it's okay. The ambulance is on its way. Please keep through. Hey! Stop right there. This is Lauren Fuller. Are you responding? Yes. What happened? I saw Angelo planting a bomb at the back of the waterfall, and I tried to chase after him, but he ran away. What? Oh god no 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 no. I knew Angelo would do this. What do we have to do with the bomb? We have to disarm it. If we don't do that in time, the whole building will explode, so we have to disarm it as fast as possible. Okay, thanks. I'm on my way. Bye. What happened? Lauren just told me that Angelo placed a bomb at the waterfall, and we have to disarm it before it explodes. Tell everyone to evacuate the building. I will. Come on, let's go. Alright, what did we got? I have just rushed Jake to the heart center hospital where he was shot at the waterfall, and he is losing blood. Take him to the surgery room so you can save his life. Got it? Got it. Did we get another patient? Yes we have. Jake was shot at the waterfall and he has suffered blood loss. Actually, Sally just told me that the person who shot Jake has been identified as Angelo Waldron. Angelo Waldron? Who is he? According to the police, Angelo has recently escaped from a prison in Los Golem, and he is one of the most dangerous criminals in Castle Bush. He is known for blackmailing and murdering people, and even stalked many women. I'm pretty sure Angelo won't terrorize us just like what the Sanderson brothers did to us. Listen, Angelo won't terrorize us. He doesn't even care about us and he is not going to harm us just for sure. Exactly. Alright, I'm coming. Um, who the heck are you? I'm Randy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's great to see you. How come I haven't met you before? Well I have been living in Texas for a long time until I moved here to Minecraftia, and I started living here in Castle Bush. Yeah but, why do you look weird? I mean, the color of your wool looks a bit strange. What? I just wanted to look myself handsome, that's all. Wanna check out my house? Sure. Let's go. Alright, this is my house. 
This is where I will Dennis, stop spinning around the well. You are making me dizzy. Whoops, sorry. Anyway, this is the house where I used to live ever since. That's not far from where I live. Exactly. Now come on, let's go in. Well yeah but when I go inside the house, I'm unable to fit through the door and I can't go in. Don't worry, at least I can fit through the door just like when I visited Paul and Charlotte at their house. Watch me. See? Now it's your turn. Okay. Uck. Ah. Uh, Ugh. Gah. There you go. That's how you go in. Alright, what do you think of my house? It looks nice, though I just realized that there is no furniture. Oh, yeah. I forgot to buy some furniture, so that's why I don't have that. So are you really going to sleep on the floor every night? I mean, that's so stupid. I'll tell you what, you can come to my house for a sleepover party tonight so we can watch TV, play video games, and then have some fun. Good idea. Now I can finally get to sleep on a bed for the first time. I wonder what it's like to sleep on it. Now you can finally get to sleep on it. Girls I'm sorry to interrupt you but I'm afraid that there is a bomb planted at the waterfall. What? Oh god no 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 no. I knew that this is going to happen. However, I also want all of you to leave the building so we can focus on disarming the bomb. Come on. Are you guys alright? Yeah, we're fine. We had to be evacuated because of the bomb and we are really scared that the waterfall would blow up. And I'm also scared about what will happen to Jake because I don't want him to die. Guys, it's alright. Jake's in the hospital and he'll be okay. He should be. He should be and if Jake dies, Weird apologies for the interruption, but we are starting to run out of time. We need to disarm the bomb, fast, and on thin. Alright, where should we cut the right wire? Look, I don't know. We need to find the shears in order to cancel the detonation, and if we cut the wrong wire, the building will blow up immediately. Then go get the shears, quickly. Go go go. I'm scared. Marceline, it's okay. Finn and Lauren are trying to disarm the bomb. Alright, we got it. Now let's cut the right wire. Oh god, 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 oh god. Hurry! I think we did it. The bomb has been disarmed. Oh thank god. The bomb only had 5 seconds left to blow up and we managed to stop the detonation. So? Well, mission accomplished. We disarmed the bomb. Good thing I didn't cut the wrong wire. Well work. I think our mission is done. Did you heard that Marceline? The bomb has been disarmed. Oh thank god. We thought that the whole building would blow up in the last second. What? Another power cut? I mean, why does this keep happening? Well, sorry. I guess this happens to us sometimes. Exactly. I guess I had to go back to the basement to fix the electricity again. Totally. Now go to it. At least all of the buildings still have electricity. Then how come we don't have electricity in the first place? I don't know. All right, I'm off. Charlotte, are you sure you gave me the right book I'm reading right now? Charlotte? Oh, well, I guess she doesn't care. All done. I managed to fix the electricity again. Yeah, but what happens if the power goes out again? We'll go berserk. That's it. Well, this is a surprise. We have another visitor. Yeah! This is almost like when I met with Josh shortly after I fixed the electricity. Anyway, let's answer the door. Hi guys. Oh, hi Dennis. It's nice that we can get to chit once again. At least you can finally get to go inside our house this time. I was a bit nervous at first, but I made it inside. So what have you guys been up to today? Well, not much. The power went out again and Charlotte had to fix the electricity. What? The power went out again? How did that happen? I don't know, Paul and I was inside the house when the power went out. 
I am not sure why did the power cut occurred, but we have to deal with the cause someday. Forget the power cut, let me tell you something else. I invited Randy to my house for a sleepover party tonight. No way. I didn't know you used to be friends with Randy. So can we come to the sleepover party? Yes. Of course you can. I also checked out Randy's house, but I realized that he doesn't have furniture. Randy also said that he sleeps on the floor every night. Well that's dumb. He should better sleep on a proper bed if he purchases furniture. Yeah! So guys, what are you waiting for? Let's have a sleepover party. We can't miss it. I mean, I'm just relieved that the waterfall didn't blow up. I mean, I thought that this would happen in the last second. Marceline, it's okay. The bomb has been disarmed and we don't have to worry about Angelo anymore. Oh my god, what do you mean we don't have to worry about Angelo anymore? I mean, don't you realize that Angelo wasn't arrested after he planted the bomb? Listen, my colleague, Lauren, tried to arrest Angelo, but he ran away, and we are concerned about what else he would do. Exactly. And if he makes another warning against us, we're doomed. Welcome back Bubblegum and Fred. I see that you two have returned after your honeymoon. Guys, listen. We have to talk. A prosecutor from the Castle Bush Police Department just told us that Angelo planted the bomb at the waterfall. We know that. Lauren and I managed to disarm the bomb, and the waterfall also had to be evacuated because of it. Well yeah, but this is only the beginning. What? What do you mean this is only the beginning? I mean, what is Angelo going to do next? Well Angelo just sent a text message to Bubblegum when she and I were in the taxi, and he said that he is going to get revenge on the all of us by blowing up another building. Oh god no 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 no. Is Angelo going to blow up either Finn's house, or your house, or even Bubblegum's cafe? Look I don't know. And we are concerned that Angelo would strike again. And if he really tries to blow up another building, we're totally doomed. Guys calm down. No matter what Angelo's warnings were about, we will always make sure to protect you and then stop Angelo from committing crimes. If we don't do anything to stop him, it's too late. Exactly. I'm glad Marceline managed to leave the building because, if she didn't leave in time, she would have been killed as the bomb would have blown up. Yeah yeah yeah. I get it. Excuse me, can I see Jake please? Sorry, I don't allow visitors at the recovery room right now, so I can only allow them if I want to. Oh come on, but Jack has been shot and I have to see him, please. Alright, fine, but please make it quick. Thanks. Bimo, what are you doing here? Jake. Listen, I only came just to visit you. I worried all about you since you got shot. Bimo, listen, I'm in the recovery room, getting some rest after all of this. I mean, Angelo has no reason to shoot me and he should better go back to jail for what he did. Exactly, and Angelo even tried to blow up the waterfall, but Finn and his colleague managed to disarm the bomb. Wait what? Did Angelo really plant a bomb at the waterfall? I mean, I'm just shocked. Jake, it's okay. The bomb has been disarmed, but this is just the beginning. Angelo warned that he will blow up another building, but I'm not sure what kind of building will he blow up. Oh god no 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 no. If Angelo strikes again, we're doomed. Listen, calm down. I'm pretty sure Angelo will be arrested one of these days, but if he doesn't, he could potentially kill the all of us. Alright, I have to go now. I need to go home to get some rest. Please take care of yourself. 